I'm Dr. Gino An, orthopedic spine surgeon, Namir Hospital in Dubai. I'm so honored to present this topic. Maybe previous represent, in previous represent, Dr. Choi explained very well about spinal stenosis by UV. Many surgery techniques will be talked about by other speakers. So I'm going to speak to you about UV history and basic concept. I hope this presentation will help for try to start UV. Uh, spinal endoscopic has a long history over 50 years and is developed and well known with PLD, PSLD and unipotal techniques. But today I want to introduce bipotal endoscopic technique for spine surgery. Uh, until 10 years ago, most of the surgery was performed as open surgery, but there were a few endoscopic surgery. In the last 10 years, endoscopic surgery has made great progress and has developed to a level that can handle many spine surgery field along to unipotal and bipotal endoscopy. The merit of UB is more familiar to spine surgeon. Anatomy is the same as open microsurgery. Can use all instruments without limitations. More clean and safe than microscope. More benefit to patient, minimal incisions, less back pain, short admission days, and so on. I think UB and MLD are almost the same approach instrument, anatomy, and surgical result but accuracy and safety is different. That is my personal opinion. Compared to UV view and microscope view, UV view is much clean compared to microscopy. This means clean view makes a surgery easier and more safe. In 1996, first published paper by Dr. Anthony from Argentina in the Journal of Arthroscopic and Related Surgery about translamina lumbar epidural endoscopy. 2001, Dr. Abdul Gapa from Bahrain shows first presentation at AAOS about endoscopic lumbar discectomy. 2001, Dr. Jinhua Ong and Young Chul Chue, they are South Korean. They were inspired from Dr. Abdul and start to this technique in South Korea. They are real pioneer in South Korea for UV technique. 2003, Dr. Om Jin Hwa from Om Jin Hwa presented endoscopic lumbar disectomy using UV technique. 2013, it is the year that the area is extended from simple disectomy to treatment of stenosis and even fusion surgery. Dr. Son, he learned this UV technique from Dr. Arm, and he is the first surgeon to introduce ULBD using by UV technique. He established the basic concept of UV and make a UV as a name of this technique. Dr. Arm and Dr. Son are still doing their best to spread to all over the world this UV technique. This is Dr. Arm and Dr. Son's pictures. Okay. Uh, what is the UV? UV is based on arthroscopic with fluid environment as joint surgery, but different is there is no space in spine, unlike joint. Uh, first is about water. UV is out of art of water flow. We must check water flow. During the UV surgery, we must meet epidural space and do in water environment as arthroscopic surgery. Water is inserted epidural space. If there is no appropriate outflow, the pressure inside epidural space will increase and make a dangerous condition. So management of inflow and outflow is very important. Keep the pressure 30 to 50 HH, <coughs> millimeter HG for surgery. Second is triangulation. This means scope and instrument must be met on the target point. 
open an early triangle maker surgery difficult. If you make a good triangulations, you can see the instrument in the screen. This is good triangulation shape. Third is about control of water pressure. Controlled continuous outflow can make a optimal hydrostatic pressure. We can check bleeding and using hydrostatic pressure, some work is easier. This video shows block of outflow is useful for working. Next is about technique to remove ligament problem. Using blunt ended instrument and split the ligament problem and with calcium nodule, remove the ligament problem safely. Minimal touch the Minimal touch the dura is very important. Scope can be moved to all directions and more deep close with clear view. At your surgeon's convenience, we can use variable degree lens. What can we do with UBE? I think all kind of Spine disease can be treated by UV, hernia disc, and spinal stenosis, fusion surgery, revision surgery, OPLN, facet test, and so on. Okay, now I will talk about some tips for the surgeon who want to start UV. First one is anesthesia. Anesthesia is very important for surgeon to do without stress for patient. General anesthesia is better for beginner and especially code level surgery. Patient must be prone position with neutral rolling pad. Irrigation fluid is at surgeon's head side. Wide skin window with fluid damp and back are needed. Wide skin window is better to prevent leakage of fluid. Radio frequency and drill <coughs> with draining tube also. A serial dilation and triangulation on the CM and the CM monitor is opposite side of surgeon. Assistant take a UV retract with left hand that make more outflowing flowing and keep good visual field. Assistant control water flow with closing or opening of drill draining tube. Next is orientation. Scope orientation check is very important also. Must check the direction of the scope. Next is skin marking. For interlaminar approach, target is upper part of disc and medial margin of upper pedicle. Find the disc level with C arm and from the midline, laterally 1 cm. The target is superior spinal laminar junctions. Distance of two portal is about two to three centimeters. Sometimes we use the spinal leader to reduce using the CM. For foraminal approach, in lateral view, target is just above the foramen. In AP view, isthmus is target. So two portals are made on one, cent one centimeter lateral side from vertebral lateral margin. For spine fusion, the reference point is pedicle. This picture shows force incision to com compress and insert the cage and screw for fusion. Working space is very important. In joint arthroscopy, there is existing space, so we don't need to make a working space. But in spine, there is no space, so we have to make a real working space. First video shows serial step up to make a portal. Second video shows to make a more space using two instruments. That is strip up technique by Dr. Son. We will meet the redness at first time, but with precise tri triangulation, we can find the instrument and the laminar bone. Check scope orientation is important also. We must check the all direction. 
For paraspinal approach to work, paralateral disc coordination or foraminal stenosis, same manipulations. If we can reach an exact target point, we meet the isthmus portion of transverse process. Bone working is done with ball punch. Enough bone working is essential to success of this technique. Last one is flabectomy. Split and remove is basic concept. After this step, we can meet the nerve and disc region. Left video shows interlaminar approach and disc removal. Right video shows extraforaminal air containing cyst removal. Important point is careful review the patient's information, decide approach, each up to surgeon's choice. Accurate targeting is two region, minimal soft tissue injuries, bleeding control. That is basic concept of UV technique. Conclusion, UV is powerful surgical method for treatment of spine disease. It's more safe than open surgery, show same anatomy as open, so it is familiar to spine surgeon. That means it's to run. I think endoscopic surgery, including UV, will be standard treatment of spine surgery. Do it now. Sometimes laser become never. We have two UV society. If you want to join, you can find it in Facebook website. Thank you for your attention.